Okay, in this video I will be making a brief tutorial on the basics of LaTeX and how to use it. LaTeX is a markup language for writing papers, basically, normally with academic purpose. Uh, it's very extensible, and it's, in many ways, a lot easier to use than something like a word processor. Um, LaTeX is spelled like LaTeX, but with um, the consonants capitalized like so, and of course it's pronounced LaTeX. So we'll just open up a file, I'll call it article.tech. Now you begin this with backslash document class, and then a set of curly braces like this. Um, this is basically the syntax for any LaTeX command. Um, and in the braces you pass an argument. Normally for document class you'll do article, um, and this just makes a basic article format, but you can also do book, or exam, or there are some others. And these will have different commands and different behavior that more appropriately fits the thing you're choosing. After this, you will do begin document, and you'll close that with end document. And in here, you'll put all the uh, content for the document that actually appears on it. So I could say, here is some text. And then if we compile this, uh, let's do LaTeX MK PDF. I highly recommend you install LaTeX MK. This is a script that um, will basically automate any um, compilation and it handles all the dependencies and orders if you're doing more complex things like bibliographies, which are also very nice to do in LaTeX. Um, but yeah, highly recommended. Also for the LaTeX package you install, you should probably just get the largest one with the most packages, just so you have anything in case you need it. Uh, now this command, it will compile all the tech files in your current directory, if there are more than one. But if you just want to do a specific one, you can specify article.tech. And it immediately compiles, because it's really short. And we can open up the file article.pdf and here it is, just says here is some text and it has the page number right there at the bottom very simple uh, now if you want to do a new line just have here is some more text separated by two new lines so there's an empty line in between them uh, if we compile that, you'll see it just appears on a new line of its own. Now what happens if we don't um, put the new line in between? Uh, here's some more text that ends with a full stop. And you will see this does not have a new line of its own. This is useful because you can um, like, you can make it so your text doesn't have an obscene length for lines. You can choose to clean it up and have um, certain lengths. Now, there's a lot of different text formatting you can do in here. You can do backslash text df for boldface. Uh, you could do text if for uh, italic, or it for italic text tt for a monospace, which you might want for inline code or something. Uh, you can also do underline and a whole bunch of other things, but I will not be showing that uh, in this video. You can look it up. Uh, but there it is. You have the bold, you have the italicized, and you have the monospace. Now, you can also do um, like special characters and stuff. One of the benefits to working with LaTeX is that everything is in plain text. 
Um, you don't need to copy and paste special characters or anything. There's a way to put in all the characters you might need. So I could say, um, like, here is some text separated by an m dash. Here is some text separated by an n dash. And the, those will appear with their proper length. Uh, all you need to do is put three or two hyphens. You can also do accents, like you can say, uh, this is not a resume. Uh, you can use the backslash with um, various characters uh, like that. Or you could do something like über laufen, uh, or whoops, you actually, I think you want to put the accent before the character in question, like that. Um, but yeah, there are various different things you can do for those. Um, now I'll show you how you can make a title. So, above the begin document, it's sort of like the head tag of an HTML document. This doesn't uh, show the actual content or anything visible. This is like the behind the scenes stuff that um, defines how the document behaves. So I could do author keytube and title LaTeX tutorial. Uh, now, backslash LaTeX like that is actually a command of its own that shows the LaTeX logo. Uh, and then this after here just makes the space show properly. Uh, and then when you want to show the title, just do backslash make title. Normally the first thing in begin document. And there you go. Uh, everything's formatted nicely. You could also specify the date if you wanted. Uh, January 1, 1888. Um, and you'll see it changes here. But you can comment that out. Comments are done with parentheses. Uh, I mean, uh, percent signs. Uh, meaning, if you want to do an actual percent sign, then uh, you want to do backslash percent to cancel that out. And you'll see that's all back how it is. I think you may actually be able to call the date uh, like that. Backslash today, maybe. And yeah, uh, you could say today is today. And it will say today's date, uh, which is useful because Regardless of uh, when you're writing it, it will always just do the date of compilation. Um, so maybe you can make like a template uh, for something and it'll just work whenever it's actually done. Um, I will now show some packages. You can import packages um, for extensibility, sort of like importing Python packages um, or mo <coughs> modules. Uh, you can do backslash use package. And the one I'll be calling now is enumerate. This gives us the functionality of um, making lists and stuff. So I can say begin enumerate and end enumerate. Then you can do item. Here is an item. Copy that a few times. And it automatically lists them one, two, three. Always puts them in order, no matter where you start them. And I can say begin enumerate here. Um, you can nest to them in enumerate sub item. And that it changes it to A, B, C, D. 
and it will most probably do another iteration of a pattern if we um, do yet another sub text Whoops. and there we go but we can actually customize this if we want we can say like begin enumerate uh, maybe we want this one to be a uh, so you can just say a in square brackets which is often done in LaTeX for like secondary arguments and you have a b c if you want to have the dot after it instead of parentheses you add that uh, you could also like put brackets or parentheses around it you can make it capital uh, actually no one ever does square brackets I think it's just parentheses normally and you have ABC same goes for I and capital I for Roman numerals uh, yeah uh, I will also show sections and paragraphs so I can say section introduction section uh, I don't know I'll make it related to the text well this section writing and section random uh, and you'll see everything's formatted like so we can also just move things around, of course. Uh, I'll put section random right here. And it, everything is automatically reordered. You can also do subsections. More random. Uh, then we can do sub subsections. I'll put that there. And it has um, corresponding numbers for everything, uh, which is very nice. But one of the useful things about this is that you can do references and labels. So I could say, um, hmm, label, and then what do you want to call it? I'll just call it A for now. Then in another section I can just say C section backslash ref A um, for something interesting. Um, and then it says C section 1. Now the useful thing about this is that you can move around all these numbers and it will still show the exact um, thing that you're looking for. Uh, right here I will do a forcible page break, so, um, and then I'll actually do another page break right here, just to demonstrate another reference feature. So I could say on this last page, uh, look at, uh, I'll call this section um, label B. Look, now you can label it any, anything you want. Um, it's probably best to make it related to the thing in question and not actual like numbered items because those can change. I can say look at um, page ref B, page, page ref for the writing section. And then it just says look at page 2. Of course you can do labels and references for anything that's numbered. So in the list section I can say label C. In this item I can say C item ref C. And it says I, B, I, because that's the specific thing it is. I think you get the point and the usefulness of that. 
I will now be demonstrating math in LaTeX. So I can say, you actually don't need this just to do math in general, but I can say ASN, or AMS math, that's normally what people use um, for extended math functionality. But there's also math tools, which is a superset of AMS math that corrects some quirks in it. Uh, you can use either. And I will also bring in SI unit X for another demonstration. Um, so I'll actually make another section math. And I'll first start off with the square brackets. If you do backslash square brackets and then a closing backslash square bracket, uh, I can say A equals B. And then Ah, here. You have the equation centered and formatted properly. Um, of course, you can put like 10a equals 20b or something. Um, you can put in the numbers as you like, or uh, p equals m p time, yeah in times e plus a minus s or whatever. I was trying to represent PEMDAS, but that's sort of hard to do. Uh, now actually for multiplication, you normally don't do the asterisk. Uh, you can just do me like that. But you can also do uh, backslash times or backslash c dot. Whoops and it will show as the x or the multiplication dot. Uh, you can also do things like square roots, uh, square root 7. Uh, you can do fractions, um, backslash frac a, b, um, and of course you can combine these as well. Another a uh, really useful thing that's used a lot is some um, super and subscripts. So I can say like y equals a to the x or y equals a sub x denoted with the caret and the underscore respectively. Uh, and that appears as expected. What happens if I add well, first of all, these both behave basically the same, so what I'm about to show works for either. What happens if I add something after x, like b? This will just display a to the x, b. But if you want to do a to the x, b, uh, c, you would just put in brackets. And the brackets are often done just to um, keep things... Uh, contained, which is useful for other things as well. Um, you can also do Greek letters, so I could say a to the backslash beta, and you have a beta there, uh, or you could do capital O for a capital, um, and a lower for a lowercase. I'm just doing random things. Um, and for things that look exactly like uh, the Latin equivalents, you usually just use the Latin equivalents. So instead of capital A, you can do alpha, but normally you just do A. And the same goes for Omicron or anything else like that. Yeah, I don't even think they include this because you don't need it. Just do A for alpha. Uh, and, you know. Um, now, you don't need to do the square brackets. Um, the square brackets are for centering it, if that's what you want to do. But you can do inline text like um, here. It 
an example of an equation would be and use parentheses instead of square brackets y equals mx plus b and this text is back to normal and it switches to the math mode immediately uh, and you can also use dollar signs instead of uh, backslash parenthesis the same way looks exactly the same um, another useful thing is uh, text in this so I can say like uh, let me use the square brackets again actually I'll kill two birds with one stone begin equation in equation and then I can say um, what was I going to do? okay that slash text k e equals uh, one two m v squared or something for kinetic energy, or you can say like uh, f as a variable sub text friction equals ten or whatever. And another quick thing that's useful, you can say vec for vector v equals 10. And you've got, well for equations, uh, all of these are numbered, so you can do labels and references like shown earlier. Uh, but also these display as plain text, so like it doesn't look like f times r times i, etc and then you've got the vector error there. But what if you wanted to use uh, units with this and show it properly? If I want to do like 10m slash s, obviously that doesn't look right. It looks like 10m divided by s. Something really useful with the si unit x package as shown here, uh, imported here, you can do uh, backslash at capital si um, units of friction uh, in S or no, maybe units. Then for vector, you can also do the same SI 10 meters per second. And it, so it goes to the non italic uh, script for that. And you can also do it in or out of math mode, so you can say the ball is going 10 meters per second text and there it is um, properly formatted and everything a couple quick things I forgot to mention which I'd like to uh, point out um, Let's go to the writing section for this. If you want to um, do quotation marks, you have to do the double grave accent. Here are some quotation marks. And then you can either do the single, uh, single quotes times two, or you can do one double quote. Um, and that appears properly. If you forget to do this, then it will only do the closing ones. Uh, this is just so you can choose specifically which one you want to do when. Like, if you're using Google Docs or something, it'll automatically do opening and closing, and you just don't have a choice. Um, but yeah. Also, of course, you can do single um, quotes for these if you wanted for a specific instance. Um, and as for items, um, 
I meant to mention itemize, which is part of the enumerate package. You can do um, uh, item, whoops, item, <laughs> and this will just make a uh, unlisted or unnumbered list if you don't need to number things. And of course, you can do subsections as well. And uh, it will accordingly change the format. And I also meant to mention paragraphs. So you can say like paragraph. Um, interesting information. Uh, here is an interesting paragraph. Um, let's copy that so it looks like a paragraph. And then, um, yeah, it'll just prefix this with the bold and the name of it. Um, so yeah. And real quickly, I must add, there's another notable environment for math, and that is begin equation. Um, you can, let's uh, just add some like, equations in here. I could do y equals mx plus b, and I could do ln x derivative equals fraction of one over x. And the thing about begin equation is that uh, these are numbered. So you could do the labels just like anything else. Label B, C, equation, D, or whatever. And uh, yeah. Now, of course, LaTeX has many other mathematical uh, functions and notations and symbols, you can look these up, um, and there are a lot of them. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful, that's all, thanks for watching.